In this video, I wanted to talk about uh, another, uh, not mass shooter, but another shooter, shooting uh, incident that happened in Atlanta, Georgia, and it made the uh, it made the headlines. You know, it made the um, it made the news. And I want to talk about uh, possible connections between what happened with this this woman who was caught in Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, gang stalking. So the the name of the woman is uh, Raisa Kenye. I, I think that's I think I'm pronouncing her name correctly. And she worked for I think it was some sort of firm. I don't know if it was a law firm, or she made she worked for this this you know some sort of corporation. Like I don't I don't know who she worked for, but so she claimed that she was a whistleblower and um you know there was like a retaliation like she they were up to something and they were into some shady business or something and she uh tried to expose it and then she basically was like they broke into her house and stole the evidence and she it was basically like a gang stalking kind of thing where like once uh, she did what she did, they started gang stalking her. They, she claimed they broke into her house. She, so she filed a lawsuit and it was a pretty detailed lawsuit. They, I think they said it was like 1100 pages and the judge just completely threw her claim out. Her house was broken into, she called the police and the police didn't do anything. So as a TI, I'm relating to everything she's saying uh, because as a TI, we all know that the legal system completely stops once you become a TI. So I wanted to talk about this because I think it kind of gives us a little bit of insight into as to how this operation works. So in the last video I made, I, I basically told people that we don't know enough about the operation to be able to uh, to be able to make any assumptions. So like if it, it can be so basically this is reaffirming what I just said like what I said with my last video that basically you could there could be different reasons for why you're a targeted individual different groups could be responsible for it so like if you're if you're trying to connect all of us into uh, into one box you probably can't do that so for me um the, the community is racist but for you it, it could be any reason so this uh Raisa kenye was gang stalked because she was a whistleblower and she you know turned against the people that she worked for who were powerful and that was why they gang stalked her but with me the people could be racist and that's why they gang stalked me so what she's suggesting is that they can gang stalk you for different reasons do you guys not feel what i'm saying here like uh they retaliated against her by uh, you know doing this gang stalking thing so i mean look at look at what's happened okay so basically uh they broke into her house um she called the police they didn't do anything they broke into her house stole the evidence and then she was like they, she filed a lawsuit and she called the police and the police didn't do anything they could was like well we're just not going to do anything now let me tell you from experience that's exactly the attitude that the and look the police just happened to show up when i'm doing this <laughs> i have a bunch of videos of them uh they, they just so happened to show up <clears throat> see those those pigs man i was like yeah you go ahead they can go ahead and show up they can go ahead and show up i'm just waiting for them to do something stupid but look i don't even want to think about them I let them show up let them pretend that they're accomplishing something they're just so how stupid they are <laughs> oh well yeah okay you know what they're distracting me i don't even want to focus on the pig okay look um so basically she became a ti because she was a whistleblower is what she's saying she's saying that she became a targeted individual because she was a whistleblower so what that means is that different people could become TIs for different reasons. So like when you guys, you know, say that it's the Freemasons, you might be right. Uh, maybe in your situation, it's the Freemasons. But for me, it's because I'm, uh, I'm, you know, I'm not white. And for her, it was because she was a whistleblower possibly in that and she's black i don't know i mean but the point is that that would seem to suggest that 
you could become a targeted individual for um, different reasons. What there could be is there could be some sort of corruption in the government or maybe, you know what they say about the United States? They say the United States is controlled by corporations, that this company is not, the, the democracy is a facade and that corporations control the United States of America. And it's not really run by the politicians, it's run by the corporations who have special interest groups who basically control the, the politicians. That's how the entire uh, country is operated. So what that means is that uh, we're, the people are not in control of the United States. It's the, it's the corporations and the special interest groups pay off everybody of power and so that they can get their way in pretty much every situation. So if we were to believe that, gang stalking would be their way of maintaining control over basically the entire populace. Let's just suggest that one of us gets out of line or there's an issue with one of us. And look, the cop, he didn't even do anything. He just pulled up and he just left for no reason. See, he's a criminal. He's a criminal. He is a criminal. You think that guy is here for us? He's a, he's a low level thug. He moonlights as a, a low level thug. That's all these cops are, they're low level thugs. They, they moonlight as low level thugs. I mean, yeah, they put the little, this, this silly little outfit on and they go out and do things. But after, after they're, you know, while they're working and then after they're working, they're just thugs. Okay, but I don't want to talk about him because that's not why I made the video. So the, basically the United States is controlled by special interest groups who are controlled by these, these major corporations. So if we were to believe that, gang stalking would be something that maybe some sort of, uh, like the government, the government is basically allowing them to do whatever they want to sort of go after people illegally that they consider a problem and they could have different reasons for doing it. So like corporations, you know, you could have corporations who, uh, you know, are run by racist people. Like out here, the, the vast majority of the people are racist. You have a lot of racist people who are at positions of power. So basically their agenda, basically uh, their agendas will sort of dictate who they go after so like if you lived in a racist community full of racist people or the racist people were in control of your community and you know they saw you as a, like a uppity uppity n-word or uppity minority then they could gang stalk you for that if you were a whistleblower they could gang stalk you for that or if you're they don't like whatever they can have reasons different reasons for going after you maybe some of you they just do it because you're poor or they, for numerous reasons we don't know the reasons but the theory is that the government since the government is under control of the, all these corporations that they can pretty much just do whatever they want and gang stalking is kind of their way of keeping control over us you know sort of being our low overlords or something it just it's like a demonstration of power so i think that out of all the theories this is pretty grounded this is a pretty grounded theory and of course it does go back to spirituality i mean depending on how you see it but the point is that uh given what we just learned about this shooter it seems like that's kind of how it works like, I mean, you know, a lot of these people are racist. I mean, of course, you know, that's why black people. And I posted, I posted uh, about the, the, the test scores because let's not kid ourselves. Most of these people of power are racist. This is a racist country. That's why the cops have killed people and they get away with it. I mean, most of the time they get away with it. They, there's a couple of high profile cases, but I'm thinking out of all those cases, we, they probably kill out of every person who gets, they, 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 they make, you know, that makes hat national headlines. There's probably a hundred people that we never even hear about the day off. I mean, the point is that given what happened with this woman, it seems like gang stalking is like something that people could do for whatever reason they want to do it for like it's not like it's just freemasons or something and these freemasons are responsible for all the gang stalking all over the world like these freemasons you know um so with me the, you know the people are racist and they want to control all the color people and they can't and this it's really bothering them and they're just after me or whatever and i say that because i'm not the only person who is suffering because of these people's racism okay like i mentioned um in inner city schools nobody is making it nobody is passing nobody passed their sols nobody i mean their failure rate is the highest failure rate that i've ever heard of in my entire life on a standardized test 
And they can get away with doing that. I mean, they can get away with doing that. And the point is that if you, that if you take a look at those test results and how out, out absolutely outrageous they are, and then you think about the gang stalking, and you, you, and you make the connection because this is the same area. You see what I'm saying? So obviously, this is a very racist community, and we can just look at the scores, the test scores, and other stuff, other little hints here and there, and put together that fact. I mean, like I said, I mean, these people look racist. Everything about them seems racist. They're hateful, and they don't really have a motive for going coming after me outside of racism. So, I think it's. So I think that like with um, Stephen, whatever he, we don't know what Stephen did. There's another guy who basically, you know, uh, his name escapes me, but he was a, a TI too, and the cops killed him, and he he was whistleblower. So I'm just saying. Um, the point is that this seems like like some sort of operation that the the rich, the powerful, and the racist people of the world can use against pretty much anybody that they consider a threat to their power, or does something that they don't like, and they can target anybody. These people are probably sociopaths who want to play God. You know, they're rich, they're white. And they think they can do whatever they want. And that nothing is more American than a rich white person thinking he can do whatever he want. That's literally the most American thing I've ever heard of, okay? Uh, <laughs> and that's what these people are. So, like, I'm saying, okay, so you guys you guys are white and you're just like, well, I'm a T.I. Well, I mean, uh, according to this theory, I mean, they have whatever reason they have for coming after you. I'm saying that in this area, the reason why they're targeting me is because this is a racist community. This is a racist southern community. That's why I'm the target. So with you, it could be anything. I mean, maybe you caused some trouble for your boss and your boss, you know, he knew some people. I don't know, did you piss your boss off? Who fucking knows? So I think that the rich and the powerful may have uh, developed this operation in order to destroy whoever they perceive as a threat or an enemy or anything like that. And I think that like, in a situation like that, I mean, not everybody is going to lay down and just let these people walk all over them. I mean, she tried using a legal system. I've tried using a legal system. I didn't kill anybody. But let me tell you, the legal system does not work. Take it from somebody who's tried to use a legal system multiple times. The judges, the cops, everybody is conspiring against you. So she's making the exact same claim. Stephen is making claims. I mean, so the point is that it seems like uh, this 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 TI shit is something that people can just you know bestow upon anybody for any reason. Uh, I think that like there's different reasons depending on the circumstances or you know where you live at and what's going on around you. Like we don't know like what what every single TI's reason for being targeted is. But I think that that reaffirms the theory that I posted about uh, yesterday, that people are targeted for different reasons. It's not one group targeting all of us for the exact same reasons. So here in this area, I think a lot of black people get targeted. A lot of black people get targeted because a lot of these people are racist. Don't be surprised if the KKK has you know this, this option in their, in their arsenal. Like they might be able to randomly target people and get gang stalk people and they have the government's blessing to do it and especially if you live in a community like that if you live in a, com a racist community then your gang stalking is because you live in a racist community but if you live in a, a community that is not racist or you're white you probably piss somebody off that you shouldn't have pissed off or they don't like you for whatever reason and they decided to gang stalk you so i wanted to bring this up so that you guys understand what i'm saying like i understand the point i'm making just because you're white doesn't mean that the gang stalking isn't because the people out here are racist towards me so you can't make the claim that the freemasons are responsible for all gang stalking in the on the entire planet they are not that powerful so if you go to upstate new york and they target you that could be the freemasons in the south if you're if you're if you're colored and you're in the south it's probably because you're you're you're, you're black if there's no other reason now this woman knew why she was targeted she knew why she was targeted i mean so i mean she was fortunate to know why she was targeted because it, st it started right when she did what she did so she made the connection if you're just some some black guy and the people are targeting you, I mean, and you live in a racist area, I mean, wouldn't wouldn't you just assume that it's because of racism?